Halloween is around the corner and the Kamloops RCMP is urging caution for both trick-or-treaters and anyone else who might find themselves out and about this Hallow's Eve. We always want to just take those extra steps, take that extra time to plan ahead, know our routes, and really just prevent any kind of tragic accidents from happening. Napier says safety starts at home when planning you or your child's costume. We want to have bright costumes. We want to have colors that are going to catch the eyes of the drivers. But if your costume isn't on the brighter side, please say there are other ways to stand out in the dark. Having a flashlight to help see your way and also to show the drivers where you're at. Glow sticks are also another great idea so that they can be seen if you wear one in the front and in the back. You have that visibility and you can catch the attention of the drivers. Napier is also advising against wearing masks that cover the eyes because they can make it harder for trick-or-treaters to see where they're going. We want to make sure that mask is up and or we use face paint instead to have that effect of our costume. Just as important, Napier says the right footwear can make or break your night. We want to have good footwear because we don't know what the weather will be like. We want something warm and insulated, keep the feet dry and have good traction so that we're not slipping and that we can go on that uneven, unfamiliar ground that we're not used to while we're out walking. For older kids trick-or-treating without a parent, Napier says going out in pairs and planning a route with parents ahead of time can make the night easier and safer. Uh, make sure you let your parents know what route you're taking and stay to that route and then also have a time that you're going to be checking in and have a communication plan worked out with your parents. But being safe isn't just for those hitting the candy trail. Mounties say drivers need to be extra cautious as well. So as a driver, we really want to make sure that we're expecting the unexpected. Slow everything down, treat it almost as if you're in a school zone going through neighborhoods. Look for that unexpected movement. On top of planning ahead, police are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the Kamloops RCMP detachment. For Castanet Kamloops, I'm Sydney Chisholm.